It's our first full day here in Crete, Greece, and I've got two things that I need to take care of today, or two things I want to take care of today. The first is I want to go get wheels. I want to try to find a scooter or a quad or something that I can rent for the month so I can uh, get around. And the second thing is I want to shoot some street photography. So uh, I'm going to go take care of the first bit now. Let's go try to find some wheels. Jody and I wandered around Heraklion yesterday for quite a while and I think we've realized at least a couple things about this place. We've realized that one, there's going to be some good food. We ate yesterday and it was just unreal. The food was so good. Two, there's a ton, a ton of really cool cafes. And third of all, I think it's actually more photogenic than I expected. I kind of planned on this being my base and then just getting out and exploring other places. But the more I walk around, the more I see potential for things like street photography and landscape photography and architecture. So I'm going to have some fun here with the photography. Hopefully I don't get fat from all the great food. And yeah, I'm excited. Yesterday I sent out a thousand emails to people trying to find scooters and quads and a company called Motor Club offered me a really really good deal on a quad or scooter so I'm gonna go down and check it out and yeah see what we come up with. I'm excited, excited to have wheels, excited to keep exploring and yeah just excited to be here in the Greek islands. The quad bikes here. A uh, big thanks again to Motor Club for hooking me up with a massive discount. I was actually a little bit concerned because I read online that I wasn't able to rent a scooter here in Greece anymore, and Jody's trying to steal the quad. Rules have changed here saying that you can't drive scooters as a foreigner without an IDP and uh, I guess for whatever reason quads and small cars are exempt so I did end up getting a vehicle. I thought that I wasn't going to be able to get around and I was stressed so Motor Club helped me out. Yeah, I think we're going to leave the scooter now. It's late afternoon. We're going to go around and I've got the 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8 on and we're just going to go around cruise and you know, try to get a couple photos. As I mentioned in Georgia, when I first get to a destination, I kind of like to walk around, no tripod, maybe just one lens on and try to just capture some street life and have no pressure on the photos and just go out and wander. So that's what's up. So we're sitting under the like city wall and it's awesome under here. Actually, one of the other gates I prefer, but this is still cool. What I'm trying to do is kind of beginner level stuff, panning. I'm trying to pan. There's like a nice frame from one of the gates in here. And I'm trying to get a scooter on the other side of the gate in the panning technique. And essentially what panning is, is you're just moving the camera with the motion of whatever's moving. And that way you get motion in everything behind it, the buildings, the frame, the background, the foreground, everything kind of looks in motion, but the scooter is sharp and in focus. And in a way it adds motion to the scooter, even though it's actually the buildings that are moving. But basically as soon as we set up here, there haven't been any scooters. So uh, we're gonna sit and wait for one second or two seconds. Actually, there's an old lady coming across and I think she's gonna walk right into this frame. This could actually work better than the scooters. And we'll wait for one scooter to come through. Come on scooters. So I think one's coming. I've pre-framed, I've pre-focused and I'm just gonna follow and fire away. And... Yeah, it's 
it's okay. It's nothing special. All right, let's move on. So we're staying up in like kind of almost like the real Eric Leon, like no tourists are up there except for us, really. And we've just come down into the Old Town. This is maybe the busiest part of Old Town here. And yeah, trying to get some shots. The one thing I find funny is I hated the 24 to 70 for years just because it's a very standard focal length. And as we're walking around today, Nothing's changed. It's not that I hate it. It's not that I hate it. It's just that every single time I take a photo with this camera, with this lens, it just, it feels normal. It looks normal. And maybe that says a lot more about me and my photography skills than the lens. But yeah, nothing. It's, I haven't taken anything that I love yet. And I, I'm gonna blame it all on the lens for now. So I've almost given up on the street photos, but there's this incredible light coming through one of these buildings here, and it's pretty head on, but I think that it'll make for some awesome portraits with Jody and her awesome glasses. So I'm gonna shoot a portrait or two, kind of using this frame created by, yeah, by frames. This is kind of where I get into a bit of a zone shooting pictures. Just, I love frames like this and I love light like this. And I love having a beautiful model like this. This just makes everything work. So I'm gonna get Jody now up here on this frame, direct sunlight in the back. I'm gonna overexpose everything probably by two stops to what my meter says. And I uh, blow it out, F2.8, should look cool. We made it down to the port, and I'm actually gonna come here at sunrise tomorrow to shoot some pictures, and probably sunrise a couple days, and maybe even some sunsets, because it's awesome down here. There's people running into me, apparently. There's, <laughs> there's the port here, right back this way, and you can see the city walls are there. But the coolest part is this wave break leads out to this castle, and it's just beautiful. The sun's setting right now, there's some soft light, I'd love to have a camera and tripod out right now, but these first days I just have to remind myself that I'm just exploring and that's half the fun. I'll have plenty of opportunity to come shoot this. So street photography didn't really happen, not for lack of opportunity, just kind of, well, yeah, we were wandering around enjoying things and that's kind of, that's the whole point of it. It was a productive day. We got the quad bike, Jody's seen sunglasses she likes, 
and uh, yeah, it was good. It was a really, really, really good day. The 24 to 70, I still really have to get used to it. I have to learn to love it. It's great for portraits. I really do like it for like simple portraits, but other than that, I think it just always looks too standard for me. It looks too normal for me. So it is gonna be something that over time I'll probably get better and better at. I've never ever had a standard zoom lens, like a 24 to 70, ever in my life. So like anything, it's just practice and getting used to your gear. Um, that's it for today. Tomorrow I'm getting up at sunrise, heading down to the port there, and hopefully taking some cool travel photos or landscape photos. We'll see what happens when we get there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.